Hello everybody. Um, so today I am going to talk about a little bit more of an exciting topic. So if you've been joining me for the last um, four days, well three, since Monday, um, I have been coming live every day this week and talking about a different topic involving um, finding balance through nature. So we have talked about um, ways that nature can help you relieve stress and anxiety, um, how it can help you recenter yourself and kind of regroup if you're having a chaotic and stressful time, um, and uh, how it can help cleanse negative energies how it can help reset your um, internal clock, your circadian rhythm. So those are kind of mm, mellow topics. Um, and after all, I did name my company Endorphin Junkies. Release your endorphins, right? So um, today I wanted to talk about endorphins, how you can use nature to release them and provide you with some information about what an endorphin is and how I came to name my business Endorphin Junkies. Um, so our first item to discuss is um, what is an endorphin? So we're going to get our nerd on a little bit here. All right. So according to the dictionary, and I'm going to read this verbatim, an endorphin is any group of hormones secreted within the brain and nervous system and having a number of physiological functions. They are peptides that activate the body's opiate receptors, causing an analgesic, oh my gosh, that's a hard word, analgesic effect or uh, happiness. Um, the effect is basically what makes you feel good, okay? So what types of things trigger endorphins to be released? Um, and what, how exactly do you feel when they are released? Um, endorphins trigger a positive feeling in the body. So when you do something good that you really enjoy, you feel happy afterwards, right? Um, or if you go for a run and a physical exertion, um, usually your brain releases some chemicals that make you feel really good. So that's, it's the similar feeling. Um, endorphins release a similar feeling in your brain that doing, this is gonna sound bad, so bear with me for a second, okay? They release the same euphoric effect that like something like morphine would give you. Okay, so the endorphins are these amazing things that make your body feel like it's high in a natural way. So um, endorphins have a couple different functions other than just making you feel good, okay? They diminish the perception of pain and they also act as a sedative. So at the same time as making you feel really good and making you, um, making your, your pain diminish a little bit, they also act as a sedative to kind of, they help calm you down too at the same time. So um, they kind of have a dual purpose in our body. Um, but they also give you a positive and energizing outlook. So they, they, they're amazing things. Um, so the, oh, excuse me. So endorphins are actually, um, they're manufactured in our brain, our spinal cord, and many other parts of our body. And they're released in response to chemicals in our brains called, in our brain, excuse me, chemicals in our brain. It's almost Friday, folks, and it's been a long day. Um, called neurotransmitters, okay? So, neuron receptors 
endorphins bind um, they bind to oh, that doesn't make sense how that's written sorry guys I'm kind of paraphrasing some things from my blog that I wrote um, trying not to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, however it's it's not working uh, okay so endorphins are not addictive unlike drugs like morphine or an opiate um, our bodies actually have enzymes that remove the endorphins from our receptors in our brain basically so we don't actually gain dependence um, and addiction to them unlike drugs that are synthetic um, our bodies the enzymes can't penetrate them and remove them from the receptors so they just keep reactivating those receptors over and over again to give you that high and keep you high um, but with and, uh, endorphins they don't do that our bodies are able to take them away um, after a period of time and we don't we don't have that dependency on them which is a good thing um, so <laughs> Endorphins are released in response to certain stimuli and that can be a broad range of things and it varies from person to person what the stimuli is and how powerful the effect is for the endorphins. Um, so some, some things that uh, we're going to go to the fun stuff now. Things that can release your endorphins and give you that high um, include a lot of different things so you could do like um, anything from running to rappelling to walking over a log that is on that you know to get across a creek that's flowing really fast could do it um, meditation can give you that feeling um, so why would we want to do these things out in nature as opposed to being in a building? Like you could get adrenal an adrenaline rush in a building, right? You can go in to the gym and do your workout and get an adrenaline rush from that. Use the treadmill, lift some weights. Maybe you have a really good session and you feel awesome about it. Um, you can be inside and meditate. Nothing wrong with that. You're still going to have an ad you're still going to release those endorphins and feel good. But when you go outside in your nature, to me the effect is kind of a uh, duplicate effort. So you're, you're out in nature and for me nature releases my endorphins and makes me feel awesome. But when I'm outside and I'm doing something that is giving me an adrenaline rush on top of that, I feel invincible afterwards, okay? So like things like repelling, for instance, that is something that is an amazing thing for me that gives me a rush. Plus I'm outside. So um, endorphins help lower anxiety and stress as does being outside, right? So to me, being outside is like the ultimate um, and doing something that gives you me a rush kind of the ultimate high for me um, so that is kind of how I came up with the name too for my business because um, although you know to talk to me and be my friend a lot of times I, I have a very calm and just relaxed personality but I love doing things that give me that adrenaline rush and push me to my limits um, so you don't even need to do something physical to get an adrenaline rush, to be honest with you. I mean, um, gambling is something that gives people a rush. Um, I don't recommend taking it up to get the rush because it is addictive, um, in other ways that aren't healthy. So for me, um, I would recommend go trail running, go outside and go for a walk. I mean, that can give you that releases your endorphins and in a healthy way. Hiking, camping, gardening. Um, I love shooting guns. 
that's a great way to get a good adrenaline rush. Plus when you're outside soaking up the sunshine, you're getting a dose of vitamin D. And if you live in Pennsylvania, in our neck of the woods, you need that boost. Um, because our winters are long and dreary. You don't get a lot of sunshine with them. And even in the summertime, you're lucky to get that uh, a day of full sun. So a lot of times in our neck of the woods, um, we kind of have a vitamin D deficiency. So the more sunshine you can soak up, the better it is for your body. Um, granted, you're wearing sunscreen when you're going outside, right? So is anybody on that wants to make any comments? Do you have questions about endorphins? Do you have any um, comments? Or maybe you have something that is unique to you that gives you that adrenaline rush. Yeah? So, like I said, the stimuli that releases your endorphins is going to be different for everybody. Um, for me, it's a little bit more on the extreme side. And also, like, you, you kind of build up a tolerance for it, okay? So, the more things you do that release those endorphins, it's not addictive, but you're going to want to do it again because it feels good. And it makes you feel like you're on top of the world and it makes you feel happy, right? So a lot of the most successful people out there do things that release endorphins and they take full advantage of these things. And being outside in nature, nope, sorry, there's a big truck going by. I'm actually in the woods out in front of my house right now. So, um, cause I figure if I'm going to preach to you guys about being outside in nature, I probably should be too. Um, and working a, the nine to five job and coming home and you know, it's usually close to dark and I don't get a lot of time outside. Um, not as much as I'd like, except for on the weekends. Um, so some of the other things that are really fun to do uh, that I like, maybe you do too, four wheeling, going outside and riding the trails and um, getting in a mud pit, that's a lot of fun. That releases your endorphins. Um, obviously coitus, um, you know, intercourse with your partner. That's a great way to release your endorphins. Um, I'm not going to go into more details about it because I don't think I need to. Um, <laughs> and if you have some privacy, being outside is fun too. Just saying. Um, so like I said, find something that you enjoy doing and pay attention to how you feel afterwards. It's even better if you find a physical activity because that's going to, um, physical activity seems to increase the amount of endorphins that release the feel good chemicals in your brain. Um, so like you've ever heard a runner say, oh man, I got that great runner's high after today's run. That's what it's from. Um, that and the adrenaline rush, similar to a runner's high, okay? However, with adrenaline rushes, um, there's different forms of these things, guys. So you have to kind of be careful too. Um, because an adrenaline rush and releasing your endorphins, they can actually increase um, anger. So if you're in a situation and you hear the fight or flight response, that's adrenaline kicking in, telling you to either fight or run. But if you're outside and you're running and you're having fun, usually the response for your brain is to be happy and excited and in a good, in a good state, which is why I like being outside. I hope you like being outside. Um, I am going to be posting a blog here later on to cover some of the stuff that I talked about and actually go into more detail about it. I don't want to bore you guys to death with the nerdy stuff. Uh, so um, I posted, I'll post some other ways that you can go outside and get an adrenaline rush. You don't have to be extreme to get one, especially if you're somebody that has never really experienced these things. Um, you're going to want to start off with some less extreme things or not. Who knows? Maybe you're different than me. Um, let's see. 
So, there are a lot of stimuli that can release your endorphins. Oh, here's another good one. Hot peppers can do it. Who knew, right? Um, they actually trigger a chemical response in your body to release endorphins, which is pretty awesome. So if you like hot stuff, go you. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here and get my blog posted. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit more fun for you than the other ones. Um, and get your brain thinking a little bit about getting outside and trying something new and getting some endorphins going through your body this weekend. Um, if you do, I want to hear about it. So you get out there and you go hiking, share this stuff with us. If you are going, if you're participating in a race, you know, you're a runner and you're racing or a biker and you have a bike race that you're doing, um, I would love to hear about it. Uh, the community here would love to hear about it too. So endorphins aren't just for runners and extreme athletes. Endorphins are for everybody. I want to make that clear. My, my take on it, like the endorphin junkies, is once you start with this stuff, once you start exercising, that's why people love going back to exercise. Um, it makes you, that's why you feel good afterwards too. So, and that's kind of how I came up with, obviously, the name Endorphin Junkies. I'm an endorphin junkie. I love the stuff. Maybe Adrenaline Rush Junkie would be a better description for uh, some of the things that I like. But share with me what you guys like to do to get your rush. Share with me some of the things you like to do um, to release endorphins. Keep it clean, please. Don't go into gory details about your sex life. I don't want to hear about that stuff. Um, all right, guys. I hope you all had a great Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, I hope you can catch me for tomorrow's live because I'm going to talk about ways that you can introduce adventure into your life through nature and kind of bring everything full circle for all of the topics I've been talking about this past week. And you'll see what I'm talking about with finding balance through nature because they all tie you get, excuse me, all tie together. All right, I'm out of here because I can't talk right anymore. You guys, I want to hear your stories. Post some stuff for me. Um, I want you to get more active on, on our page, okay? I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.